Hi Missy and uh, Merrin. I'm trying to hit two birds with one stone in this video and help you both. I mean, it seems I've become Mr. Fixit and I'm happy to fill that role. I know quite a bit about this sort of thing. So, uh, and you, both of your problems are very easy ones, so let's get started. I'll start with you, Missy. Um, you've got a problem with your formatting and uh, and with the sound in iMovie and uh, MPEGs. iMovie doesn't like MPEGs at all and it doesn't like AVIs it doesn't like a couple of different formats and what it will do is it will just rip off the sound and it won't you won't hear anything on your videos very annoying and unusable so we're going to convert this to another format now my recommendation is DV I convert everything to DV and uh, iMovie is loving it so we're going to do that. You could usually just do that with a full version of QuickTime, but if you want to go down the free road, there's a great little app. Uh, let's see if I have it. It's a great little app called Visual Hub, which I like to use for this. And um, make sure when you download it, I'll put the link in the sidebar for this program. It's a great little conversion tool, and you can go and download that. When you do install this, make sure that you actually install all the extras and whatever it ask you, asks you to do and um, once you've done that just grab your file from your desktop drag it in and we're converting to DV so we'll select DV you're in Europe so PAL of course and then click start and that will go ahead and convert that and it won't take, it shouldn't take too long we'll just wait that out, I won't bother stopping this video um, while I'm at it, I'll get iMovie queued up. That's a f that's the file I've I've already put in with no sound. Delete that. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Um, that's converting that. So we'll just sit tight. All right, that's converted that, we'll quit that, simple as that. Now we've got our DV file, and we want to import that in the usual way into iMovie. So we'll just file, import, find the DV file, open that. Shouldn't take too long. All right, and now we've got it, and now you'll see it has sound. And little Brendan sorted. All right, that's that. That's your problem solved. Now we'll go to Merrin's problem, who she wants to get something under 100 meg. She's imported something from her camera, and it's way too big as it usually is when you import it straight from the camera. Now we want to do the same process there with uh, Merrin's footage, and we want to go File, Import, and say we've imported her footage, and we'll pretend that this is it. Um, then we just want to, like, put it into your iMovie thing and go make sure it's in the timeline and then just go file export and you get a list here of all different things keep it on CD-ROM that's fine you'll it'll tell you how big it roughly is and it's it'll be under 100 meg trust me if you've got it on this setting and then just click share it'll ask you for a, to save as something obviously click save and it will go ahead and compress that into a usable format not format, a usable size or whatever. Oh, this whole video, I nearly got there without screwing up my words, but it is late at night. Alright, so that will that will that will compress your footage down considerably. I'll cancel that now because there's no point in me doing it. And uh then you can upload it to YouTube and you should be sorted. Give me some harder questions guys. Uh, anything else, if you didn't understand that or there's something else you need, just give me a yell and I'll help you out with it. Hope both of you guys are sorted. See you later.